Welcome back from the break into the Thursday Night Sports Show. I'm Jared Stratton here to catch you up on CSU Athletics. Earlier this morning, CSU announced their partnership for the naming rights of the football stadium. We have a naming rights partner, and that is Public Service Credit Union, and it's a, 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 a significant uh, partnership that we're we are embarking upon. It'll be a 15-year naming rights for the stadium um, at a total of uh, a little over $37 million. And that's, that's uh, when you frame that within intercollegiate athletics, that's, that's a wonderful step to really putting this facility on strong financial footing as we move forward. Um, the other piece, too, is, is that uh, Public Service Credit Union is going through a rebranding process. So you're, you're probably interested in knowing what the name of the stadium will be, and that's something that we'll have to hit the pause button on and, and look a little bit forward in the future until we're able to, to have that discussion. This agreement is a first in, for the new stadium and will be a, in effect for 15 years. The field itself will still be named after former head coach Sonny Lubick, who was actually in attendance during the announcement ceremony. This official name of the stadium will be announced within the next five weeks. The CSU football team was in a full padded practice yesterday in preparation for Saturday's green and gold game. This will be the first spring game in the stadium and head coach Mike Bobo has preparing the team for this game. I mean, we had a padded practice today. Uh, you know, had some live situations uh, today. Had some move the field live, and at the end, I added. Uh, after one minute, I had some red zone situations. About seven of them, uh, from the 12, the 10, the 8, the 6, where the, you know, you had to score a touchdown, and it was live, and it got a little bit heated out there. So it was good to see their, their juices flowing, uh, and I hope that it'll be the same way on Saturday. Now it'll be a, Saturday be probably half a practice and half a scrimmage similar to what we did in the second, uh, second scrimmage where we got 40 to 50 plays. Uh, but we'll have some live action and we'll have some competition drills and, and special teams. But it'll be another opportunity to get better, be an opportunity to get better in the drills. And then we got to take that to scrimmage situations. Uh, so I'm looking forward to Saturday. And you know, when, when there's people watching and, and people in the crowd, it, it tends to get their juices flowing a little bit more. Although the offense is changing up a little bit, all eyes during this game will be on the defense and how they perform under their new defensive schemes. The scheme we have, like it's, it's more of a higher level scheme, but it's also a better scheme to help you make more plays. But it's a lot of new learning and a lot of things we got to go through. I expect us to dominate anybody in front of us, and that's including offense coming up on Saturday. The game itself will be played at the stadium at noon this Saturday. The CSU tennis team took to the court today in a game against UNC. The game started off strong with the CSU sweeping the Bears in doubles, but the Rams weren't as dominant in singles. The singles were led by an incredible performance from junior Emily Kolbbau and sophomore Riley Reeves. Each of them had a complete shutout game winning 6-0. The Rams stayed strong in their first few games with the two other Rams single, sorry, during the singles with a 6-1 score. The Rams have one more game before the end of the year against the Wyoming Cowboys this Sunday at noon. Well, that's all the sports I have for today, but make sure to check Collegian.com and CTV Channel 11 on YouTube for the latest in CSU athletics. I'm Jared Stratton, and up next is Ryan Chris with Entertainment talking about curling.